Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is Emily. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lady. I am so, so happy to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. You're about to turn, you're about to turn your back on a lot of things and people. You're about, you're about to turn your back on a lot of things and people that no longer serve your highest good. We are, you have come at a point in your life that the Lord is requesting you to let go some things, some people, some situations. This is a moment. This is a defining moment for things to change in your life. God is calling on you to let some people go because he wants to bring in new people into your life. God is calling on you right now to let some things go because he wants to bring new situations into your life. I am not just talking, but that is what is in the spirit right now. People are letting people go. People are letting things go. It's a time that people are going, people are taking, a, they, are, they are reflecting on what they should allow in their lives and what they should let go. And the Lord is specifically saying that you are going to be identifying those you're supposed to let go this season. You're going to be identifying those who are supposed to cut off from your life this season. Some things are supposed to be cut off from your life so you can best advance in life, beloved. Doesn't matter how good that thing is, doesn't matter how good that person is, doesn't matter how good that situation is. If God says it is time, and if people choose to resist it, God's himself going to cut things off. Hallelujah. God's going to cut things off. It's a time for people to like for 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 things to get moving in your life or stop. Hallelujah. It's about time for people to, for things to get moving in your life. All automatically stops. If something stops in your life, beloved, it this means it was time for these things to stop. It was time for you to stop communicating or being together with somebody. It was time for, for you to let some things go. You are about to turn your back. It's not it's not like you're going to be something you 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 are going to feel the need to do so. You are going to feel the need to do so. To turn your back on something, on some situations, on some people. And it's going to hurt, even though it may hurt. But you need to do that for your own peace of mind. Some of them are not have not served your highest good. They have just been your life to destroy you. Beloved, 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33. Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good, ma good morals. Some people have just been, they have been a bad company. You've been, you've been a bad company of some people. Without even you even knowing, but God's gonna show you those areas in your life that bad people have filled, and now they need to check out for new people to step in. Glory to God. Mm. Proverbs 4, verse 14. Do not enter the path of the wicked and do not work in the way of the evil. Avoid it, do not go on it, turn away from it and pass on. For they cannot sleep unless they have done wrong. They are robbed. Of sleep unless they have made someone stumble for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence beloved some people are like perhaps you just don't know they have been really so wicked hallelujah they have been really so wicked and Lord is that he's, he's going to removing you from, from, from their midst for you to turn around another direction beloved They are always restless. If you don't do something negative, they can't they can rest. If you don't cause pain or trouble in people's heart, they can't rest. But God is saying that the end of that has come. The end of that has come. Proverbs 22 verse 24. Don't hang out with angry people. Don't keep company with, with hot heads, bad temper, or contagious don't get infected. <laughs> Proverbs 13 verse 20. Become wise by working with the wise. Hang out with fool, hang, uh, hang out with fools and watch your life fall to pieces. So God is God just described situations, people to you. Are you going to be seeing things for yourself? And actually. 
coming to a, to conclu- to a conclusion of cutting them off and moving forward. That's what the love for you this moment. People are going to be so mad, but it is what it is. Glory to God. You need to move forward because they've done nothing but to just be anxious, being so angry, being so like in and out of please let them go in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah.